Jazz chord. I can't even play one. It's a broken sound. It's, it's the so, most broken sound ever. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so weird. I used to hate guitar sounds like that. Really? Yeah. I used to. I used to hate the idea that a fuzz pedal would replicate something literally about to go into a nuclear meltdown and yeah. like broken. Yeah. And now I just think it's the funniest it's the thing, thing in the in world. The uh, greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. I'm the captain. We're at Anderton's, and this is the Carcosa from Dodd. Yeah, I don't know what Carcosa means in Spanish or it's Latin probably, or something uh, like that. Uh, foreign, but, um, foreign language for carcass. But it's got some sort of apocalyptic looking horse skull thing in a monk's overall. Well, if that isn't the tattoo something. that you always wanted, yes. I don't know what is, Lee. <laughs> a new pedal for 2017 uh, it's a fuzz pedal um, they made a fuzz pedal years ago I think called a super fuzz but it was pretty crappy and definitely not what uh, it didn't involve anything like the uh, hours that have obviously gone into you know making this pedal. yeah um, and you just heard a bunch of sounds <coughs> Uh, that's super clean, like this one, so we haven't changed the settings. And an amp that's a little bit grunty, like this one, um, which is a bit... So there, there are our bass tones before we've switched the pedal on, and obviously Rob's got his humbucker loaded ES Les Paul. Ja. And is, I've is, that got... your, is that your strat yet, Lee? Oh, there's a story behind <clears throat> this. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gradually... Uh, building myself up to somehow making my second really expensive purchase in the first half of 2017 which is uh, this is this is Danish Pete's guitar which is which is uh, from here to here uh, actual 1964 genuine you know fender neck and stuff and from sort of here to here we think possibly some sort of uh, 80s Tokai yeah Origins. It absolutely suits you. Looks and wicked. If you, don't, if you don't run away with it today and, and, and there's throw some, money at him, then you're crazy. There's something about uh, the fact that the, the, the 1964 is the year that Anderton started. So there's oh, right. any, anything with 1964 <coughs> in it has always been. Pink charge double. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So look, let's look at the, the Carcosa and a couple of the features on it that are a little different maybe to some other fuzz pedals that we found. So um, the two big knobs on the top here are essentially gain and volume, uh, gain, fuzz, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then the sort of the weirdness or the, the unusualness starts with the, the buttons at the bottom here and the switch. So uh, high cut, I suppose, is fairly straightforward the yeah. more the more I turn it's like this a up. shelf that chops off the top well the more the yeah so the more you turn it up the more top end comes out and the more perhaps some of those harmonics uh, that you perhaps associate with fuzz are easier to hear the switch in the middle which again please comment in the section below Demi and Hawley Halley we all thought that Demi Halley was uh, the actress from um, yeah from Batman from what? Halle Berry Oh, Halle, I'm thinking of Demi Moore. You're thinking oh, right. Of, so if Demi Moore and Halle Berry had a sexy love baby, it would be called, <laughs> it would be called Demi Holly. Um, and that is essentially a bass roll-off switch. So in its Demi mode, it has more bass end. In its Halle mode, it has less bass end. So mm. typically we were using... That was really useful for the... For the yeah. yeah, Halle mode, so less bass end with that, more bass end with that. Yeah. That's just how we, we were We could have chosen it. better amplifiers for that particular facet so, of the demonstration. 
after is my favorite kind of control. So fuzz pedals are weird and the fuzz pedals over the years, particularly early fuzz pedals, had this kind of broken sound because I'm not entirely sure that the sort of the, the juice they were getting, the voltage they were getting for the back from the batteries was often enough to kind of drive the um, transistors that were sort of in there. And also to, people were poor and couldn't afford to buy new batteries all the time, so they just yeah, run down a bit. Maybe. So you've got this, there are classic old fuzz tones that really are like broken sounding. Yeah. Um, and this after kind of controlled sort of... Chokes it, doesn't it? Brings, yeah, but it... it it sort of adds more and takes away at the same time. So yeah. it's adding harmonic notes. Should we show that just as if we centralize yeah. everything? So if I, yeah, if we go back to kind of one of the settings we had at the beginning, which was pretty much everything at 12 o'clock, but with the after uh, all the way down, you get a like a traditional fuzzy sound. <laughs> As I begin to bring after in, you'll see, you'll hear what happens. So you get the idea. Uh, and, you know, really there's no right or wrong with this. The manual's not going to say set it here to get yeah, the no. best tone. It's, you just, it'll depend on your amp, your guitar, your playing style. Um, you just find a tone that you like. But I like it. You know, I'm, I'm definitely... It's weird, isn't it? Like, the, the better guitar player that I feel that I become, the more broken guitar sounds appeal like, to me. Yeah, it's because you want that randomness, you want that chaotic mm. element to be in the playing because yeah. it's, it's so much more musical, isn't it? I prefer the sound of this pedal with that strat through the red yeah. dwarf. That's my favorite yeah. tone we've managed to get so far. Yeah, there's, I tell you what we should do, because I think the traditional thinking with epic fuzz yeah. is single coil <clears throat> pickups, yeah. slightly dirty amplifier, fuzz pedal in the middle to yeah. sort of give it the juice. That's, I think, if you sort of... It works. If you sort of went, you know, let's, let's uh, our survey said of 100 people, I think, you know, like 73 of them would probably say, you know, yes, that's it. I uh, had the pleasure of doing a Captain Meets with Chris Robertson from Blackstone Cherry recently. Yeah. And he takes a humbucker loaded PRS into a gunned uh, PRS Archon mm -hmm. and really? then literally guns it even more with the fuzz over the top. And it sounds fantastic. So right. let, let's, let's, let's give that a, a try. So he goes for, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty heavy duty not volume necessarily, but you know, as in just lots of gain. So if we get a sound with no pedal, just by the way, we're using the Digitech Polara through the effects loop of the RD1 to get reverb, and then when we're using the hot rod, we're just using the reverb Polara that's inside the hot rod. Polara is a really good multifaceted pedal, and I've yeah. got one. I've used one for yeah. years actually. Of all the affordable reverb pedals, I would I would put Polara right up there. That replaced um, oh, your my Hall of, of Fame, fame didn't yeah. It? Yeah. yeah, for mm. shiz. It is. Wait. It's maybe, a Gibson, let me tune Maybe, Yeah, and maybe more, <coughs> maybe like a, a smoother. Did you just ask me for more game, Lee? I did. See, I used strings from 1964 as well. They're still good. It's right, so have we got some game? What, yeah. <laughs> Now that, that's pretty much exactly the kind of gainy tone that, that uh, Chris would have started with. So let's just, I've not, we've not done this yet, so this might sound terrible, it might sound amazing, so dial it in.
Yeah, that's really this good. Is good. <laughs> Put it back on again. Wow. <laughs> Oh, but it still feeds back if you turn the volume off. <laughs> oh, <really? Yeah. laughs> it's like so much gain. It's like right, you got to do the same thing. Cable or something. Do the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Without the pedal. A match made in, in I was gonna say, so there you go. So there's another way of just using fuzz. So drive the Ooh, crap so more out is of more. your amplifier and then drive them. You're I saying think the, more only, is more. the only thing that, that I wasn't really using there was this after <coughs> thing. So we're, we're, we're not really trying to do that sort of broken mm. thing. We're just trying to drive the crap out of it. Anyway, and just whilst you guys are all used to, you know, watching uh, boutique pedal videos and where we go, yes, and this pedal's only 963 pounds or whatever like that, you'll be refreshingly pleased to know that these are 89 pounds. So we're back into the, the world of, you know, reality pedals, uh, where most people should be able to afford these. Yes. Um, well, sounds great. Go. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, really, really like it. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can find out more, but yes, well done, Digitech. Mm. Or Dodd, sorry, if I, if, if I refer to it as Digitech, because Digitech and Dodd are the same company, but anyway. But well done, Dodd. I've been the captain. I've been Rob Chapman. By the way, if you want to buy this guitar, you can always leave a comment here and then people no! see it. No! Oh! I'll do the deal before the video goes up. <laughs> see you later. Bye. <laughs> hey. Hey.
so loud. That's the loudest thing we've had in this room, probably. Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. Yeah.